Good morning, folks. Lot to cover today. The Volcano Lightning Show marches on in Indonesia. There's a shift in Tornado Alley. We've got two papers on solar forcing of rainfall and a wow paper on global temperatures I can't believe they let go to print. Let's start with the last 24 hours on our star, much quieter in terms of flaring, but there remain sunspots and plasma filaments. One of them ripped away violently yesterday. Some of the big sunspots will be turning out of view this weekend and will await more turning in, but for today and tomorrow, the bigger watch is for those filaments. There are at least three solid ones remaining on the Earth-facing disk after this one erupted. Remember, when these go off, there is no pre-eruption flare. Just have to catch them in the act. Folks, the same volcano in Indonesia that gave us the amazing lightning show last month is at it again. Three major eruptions already this morning and a tall ash cloud. Eyes on the mountain. For those who study weather, this is what you likely know as Tornado Alley, but it has changed. Between a reduction in summer, an increase in winter, and a shift overall eastward of the Tornado Genesis Zone, this is now Tornado Alley if you take the data over recent decades. Most in that red zone probably figured it out already. Excellent paper here on Nigerian rainfall. While they found the rainy season to be pretty stable overall, the dry season variability is entirely controlled by solar activity, with more rain in the minimum of activity and less during high space weather activity periods. In that same vein, they studied cosmic rays, which are completely controlled by solar activity, and found they have such a massive impact on rainfall in Greece that it outweighs the influence of sea surface temperatures. They were even able to peg the extreme events of September last year to the cosmic ray flux. Last but not least, they're finding that shipping trails, the water vapor lines in the atmosphere left behind, were actually the most impactful form of weather modification they could ever do. A change in regulation a few years ago that reduced those trails has caused the warming rate to double, meaning that all of the warming you're hearing about since 2020 is because of their own policies. Wild that that managed to get through into the journals, but very glad it did. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now it's 5.45 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.